Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Axon Data Governance. Configuring dropdowns. When users create objects in Axon, the objects can be assigned classifications. These classifications can be selected from a drop-down list and are used to provide further information on the object, such as what the status is, the type of object it is, where it is in its life cycle, its security classification, what it relates to, and more. The classifications that can be assigned to objects can differ in each inventory. Most companies will want to update these dropdowns with values that are specific to their organization's requirements. This can be performed by a super admin user in the administration panel. These updates are reflected immediately and any updates or changes made to existing values affect existing objects as well as any newly created objects. We're going to take a look at updating a value to one of the dropdowns on the dataset inventory page. I'm going to open up a dataset, the customer master data. I'm going to edit the dataset. And over here to the right in the classifications, we are going to take a look at adding a new value to the dataset life cycle. And we're going to add the value archived. So at the moment we have draft, approved and obsolete. To update the configuration dropdown, I need to go to the admin panel as a super admin user. I choose meta model administration drop-down configurations. I'm going to filter on data sets. And the drop-down that we would like to update is the data set life cycle. I can see the values that are already existing and I'm going to add a new value called archived. And I'm going to save my changes. And now if I go back, I'm going to update the customer master data. Go into edit mode once again. And now when I go to the life cycle, I can see that there is a new value in the dropdown called archived. And I'm going to save and close. This is an example of how you can update the configuration dropdowns in Axon.